All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing 5.6 in Algebra 2. This is our second video. We're learning about operations with complex numbers. So let's talk about addition and subtraction. Basically, uh, essentially, this works just like real numbers. We're combining like terms. Real is like with real, and imaginary is like with imaginary. So real can be combined with real, imaginary can be combined with imaginary. So let's go ahead and walk through this. So these parentheses here are essentially useless because there's a sum between them. There's nothing to distribute. So I have a negative 3 uh, plus 5i plus a 7 minus 6i, and I'm going to combine my like terms. So my real stuff combines with my real stuff. Negative 3 plus 4, uh, sorry, plus 7 gives me a 4. That's my real component, right? And my imaginary stuff is going to combine with my imaginary stuff. 5 minus 6 would give me a negative i. That's my imaginary component. Right, so there's my answer, 4 minus i. All right, for the second one, now I have to pay attention to this subtraction, right? So I'm going to have a negative 3 minus 8i as my first set of parentheses, but now I have to distribute this negative and get a plus 2 and a plus 9i. You would have done the same thing if these had been x's instead of i's. Negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1. That's my real component. Negative 8i plus 9i is a single i. That's my imaginary component, and that's it. All right, moving on. Okay, so you're going to try the same thing for P5. You can go ahead and pause me if you don't want me to do this. So uh, 2 plus 3i. Again, this plus sign being distributed doesn't change anything, so I get a plus 4 plus 7i. My real components are 6. My imaginary components are 10i, and that's it. Right? If we do the same thing here, now I have to worry about distributing this negative. So I have an 8 plus 4i minus a 3 minus 2i. When I combine my real parts, I get a 5. When I combine my imaginary parts, I get a plus 2i. And that's it. All right, so moving on. Multiplication uh, works just like distributing the variable, uh, variable expressions, but the imaginary unit behaves a little bit differently when it has a power. So I want to show you something cool, right? So we know i is the square root of negative 1, and that i squared is that quantity squared, which would just be a negative 1. Well, that means that i cubed is i squared, which we just determined was a negative 1, times i, so it's a negative i. And that i to the fourth is i squared times i squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1, or 1. This is a loop. It's going to loop back every time you hit a power of 4. So, so if I had asked you what i to the fifth was, right? Well, i to the fifth would be i to the fourth, which we already established was a 1 times an i. So it just loops back to being an i, right? It's just i again. i to the sixth, it's going to be the same loop because it's i to the fourth, which we know is a 1 times i squared. Well, that's just going to be an i squared again which we've already established is a negative 1. So we're back in this same loop. So one of the cool things about this is that I can ask you for a really high power, uh, cool, tricky problem. I can ask you for a really uh, high power of i, and you, you can know what it is. So uh, we are currently in the middle of a crazy, crazy year. We're in the middle of 2020. Let's look at what i to the 2020 is. Well, since 2020 is a multiple of 4, right? 2020 is a multiple of 4. This is just this situation. This is a 1. Right? I didn't have to do i times itself 2,020 times. That would be crazy. So, all right, so let's go ahead and walk through E6. So when we're done with these, we always want to write them in standard form, that A plus B I. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and FOIL the same way I would normally FOIL if I had a binomial times a binomial. So my first is going to be negative, two, uh, negative 5 times 2, which is negative 10. Outer is going to be a negative 6i. Inner is going to be a minus 5i, and my last term is going to be a minus 3i squared. So this is no different than what you're used to doing with x's. Here's the wild card that makes this slightly different. You're not going to stop here because this i squared is actually a negative 1. So this is a negative 1. You're going to get negative 10 minus 11i plus a 3 because it's a negative 3 times a negative 1. So your final answer is a negative 7 minus 11i. So the, the first skill is exactly the same. You're foiling just like you would if these were polynomials. Uh, what's different is that when you get a power of i, you have to replace it with what it's equivalent to. All right, you go ahead and try P6, and you can pause me if you want. So I'm going to foil, right? So first is going to be 30. Outer is going to be a negative 24i. Inner is going to be a minus 20i. And last is going to be a plus 16i squared. So I get 30 minus 44i 
plus 16i squared. And that would be the end of it if these were x's, but they're not x's, they're i's. So remember that i squared is actually a negative 1. So this is a 30 minus a 44i minus a 16, because it's a 16 times a negative 1. So I'm going to get 14 minus 44i. There's my a plus bi form. All right, cool. That's it for that video.